doing something a little different out of the ordinary. I'm going to a new place that I've never been at. It's one of them places I've procrastinated going to for many years. It's called Otter Slough Conservation Area near Dexter, Missouri. It consists of Cypress Lake, which is 97 acres. And it, then it has the main Otter Slough, or Otter Lake, which I don't know how many acres it is, but I believe it's a little bit larger than the Cypress Lake. Today we are fishing, I am purposely fishing for red ears, also known as shell crackers, warmouths, and big bluegill. And then as a backup plan, there is um, some fairly decent crappie in here, bowfins, bass, catfish, and pickerel. Uh, just right now we're looking around because uh, we just went by Cypress Lake, but I forgot to turn the camera on. That's the main one I'm wanting to fish, but Otter Lake itself has a aerator on it. I'm wanting to check it out and maybe throw a lure there a few times where the aerator's pumping at because that'll attract fish all year round. Uh, right now this is just, I, I believe it's a little side, side shoot or a slew here. There's several other lakes besides the two main ones. There's probably five or six smaller lakes and five or six ponds. Yeah. There's some geese there walking down. We've seen a lot of snakes, a lot of turtles. What this place is, it's an old octobo of the St. Francis River prior to the earthquake of 1812. So this is basically an old river channel. It is a cypress uh, swamp, basically. It has Tupelo and cypress trees in it. So it's very good fishing. I just seen something big swimming right in the water right there. This is probably mostly, this lake here is mostly bowfin and, and bullheads. But you never know, it could have crappie. And obviously probably a lot of mosquitoes, especially in the evening. pliers in your pocket because I didn't bring mine during the truck. Huh? Oh, they're in the bag? <coughs> oh, there we go. It's a bluegill of some kind. Hey, that ain't bad. I'll take these. We need to start getting the bucket. Uh-uh. There is no size limit on this. The war mouth only, seven. If I can get some red ears like this, I'd be happy. But like you said, I might have to catch 80 fish to get one red ear. <laughs> Dang. Well, I know now, at least I get this, mark this off my bucket list. Yep. <laughs> Bluegill. So. We're trying for red ears, but we'll we'll take bluegill too. Uh, right now they're averaging, I'd say six inches, five to seven inches. It's maybe the size we're end up getting. Just barely edible size, right at hand size. She's caught one, and I caught one. I'm just gonna wipe my hands on my pants, and get it over with. <laughs> oh yeah oh those waders i got they're for duck hunting i'd burn up in them right now i can wear them in the winter and that's about it huh he swallowed it man boy this pole makes them feel like monsters it's a nine foot ten foot pole yeah it looked when we went, it was so muddy that the water was white chalky. They don't ever clear up there. Oh, that ain't bad. Oh, <laughs> she flung it completely out of the water. I, there's got to be some giant uh, channel cats in there, too. That ain't bad. It broke my damn hook.
Huh. See that myth about everybody, people say that flatheads will only reproduce in running water. It's, it's not true because or they wouldn't be in that place you're talking about either. Huh. Yeah. Well, yeah. Mouth. It's a baby one though. Unfortunately, the limit here, they gotta be seven inches before you can keep them. That's a war mouth, it just ain't colorful. Oh man. Really? That is a war mouth. Okay. It's just, they gotta be seven inches. I can tell you without even measuring it that that ain't seven. Can't keep him. <laughs> So we got one of the two kinds we're after. I don't think you're gonna be able to get this. Oh. Why not? Why? Yeah, it just it looks hard. I don't I don't wanna I don't want the one to do it. It's probably going to have to retie your hook on anyway because I squeezed it. They give me that. I try. Well, I got to go get a worm. <coughs> That's a worm out that just ain't colorful. Oh my God. Bullhead. He swallowed the hook, I guarantee it. I'll go through every hook I got. I don't want them because they swallow the hook where you can't even get it with pliers. Yeah, I'll be able to get it, maybe this one. got bluegill number three it's a decent female pregnant female it's a little bigger than the other two <sighs> keep having the problem of hook swallowing today every fish almost to the point <sighs> it broke my line gosh I have to tie another hook on again I went to pull it out with pliers and it snapped the line. Gosh. Not too bad. It's. God, it did it again. I have to cut the line, it's so bad. No? Got it. Right. Oh. oh, well, there was bluegill number four. God. It was good enough to keep. Too. Gosh darn it. Alright, me and her just got doubles. I got a bluegill number four. She got a large mouth on pink phantom Bobby Garland. You can't keep them unless they're 15. Yeah. Put it back. Once again, oh, I did get it. I got my hook back. All right, bluegill number four, folks. They're all about the same size. They're right at hand size. I'd say six inches, my guess. <sighs> they're not huge, but they're not terrible. Painted turtle, boy, I'm on fire, ain't I? I thought I had like some rants or something on there, and then I felt it kicking, and then I knew right away.
infested with five inches. That's what my friend told me. I think he's right. Uh, the worm bit bite just got real slow. I quit catching bullheads, quit catching bluegill. And she caught a crappie a few minutes ago, so I figured I'd try to catch some crappie. Just to see for myself how bad it is. He pretty much told me it's one out of a hundred are worth keeping. That's how bad and stunted they are. So it's pretty, pretty bad. God, I let it sink too far, I guess. Got one. Same. Same thing. Stunted crappies. <laughs> uh, four inches. Be a good place if you want to stock your own pond, just come here and catch a bunch of these and then put them in there. Another one. Same. I can tell it ain't got no fight to it. I'm just trying to keep doing this and make, luckily I'll get an eight or nine incher. Then we can keep a different kind. It's bleeding real bad. Look how bad it's bleeding. It's ble completely bleeding. I didn't even hook it bad or nothing. I don't know. It's bleeding to death. I don't know why. Good God. I mean, terrible. <laughs> oh god. Folks, this is just one of them days where you sat there the whole time and go, oh, if we just would have went here instead. And I regret not to go into Duck Creek because it was May and it's cloudy. Cat on a Bobby Garland of all things. Pink Phantom. I knew right away as soon as it hooked it, it wasn't a crappie or a, or a bass. I was unsure what it was though. It's a eat, good eating size too, boys. Right at, he's about a two pounder. It's not bad. I gotta be really careful. This is six pound line. I wanna go put him in the bucket for sure. Oh yeah, I'll take him. Not bad at all. Perfect spots on him. Good eating size. Perfect eating size. Look at that, folks. I guess this is the fish of the day right here. I'll put him in the bucket. Mosquitoes are starting to come out. Yeah, on a pink phantom. Bobby Garland. I knew right away as soon as I set the hook it wasn't no crappie. That thing's real shallow over there. It sucks. It's like a foot deep. Not bad. Alright folks, we're going to put him in the bucket. Not bad at all. Might go back along them rocks. She just caught her second bass of the day. He's about 11, 11 or 12 inches. They have to be 15 here to keep so we can keep it. And I, I was tying a new hook on and I heard a big splash and turned around. She's fighting a bass. So hopefully we get a good last couple fish in the evening evening bite. 
I'm gonna try it with no split shot this time. Just let the worms free fall. It'll take forever, but. Oh yeah, it's definitely a catfish. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh, it's not bad, it's eating size. Oh no. Got me hung up. Again. It's hung on something. He went directly underneath the dock and got me hung up. It was way out, about 20 feet out, and he came directly in towards me. And I was reeling in the slack, now it's hung. No. My gosh, I felt him on there for about five seconds, too. Uh, today, I am trying for spawning Virgil again, except it's in a different place than I was yesterday. I already got my first fish. It took a matter of seconds. Literally, no time at all. And it hooked up. It's not a good one yet, but it's a start. I'm just using a cork and a worm. seven inch or anyway. Nice bluegill there. There we go. And he's on there. Oh yeah. Big bluegill. Wow. Nice bluegill right here. These are all decent sized ones in here. That's a big one. I should have kept them. Cause I still can. I need to go get the bucket though. There we go. Oh, I'm getting them every cast, man. Every cast, almost instantly.
There we go. Oh yeah. Nice one. Oh yeah, and it's a red ear. Finally, I got what I'm after, folks, all weekend. Nice red ear, too. Oh, yes. I finally got what I wanted. He's six inches. It's a decent red ear. It's not big, but it's decent. Love these things, and that's what I wanted, and I finally got it. I shouldn't say they're big, they're decent though, they're average. They're even size. God, they're tiny. Oh, this ain't that bad. Oh, it's big. We're just biting like they're tiny. I need a really small cork. Nice one there. 